E gridate, 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 sai a me che me ne importa. E parlate, parlate, io fingerò di ascoltarvi. Per le... Professor Forstater, lei si occupa da anni del programma di Job Guarantee. Può spiegarci brevemente come funziona? You've been working for years on the Job Guarantee Program. Could you kindly give us a brief explanation on the way it works? Right. The job guarantee is based on a fundamental belief in uh, the economic right of uh, every uh, person that is ready and willing to work uh, to uh, decent employment with decent wages and, and benefits. Uh, and uh, that uh, employment is something that is part of human dignity. So we have a strong belief that there should be no one who is ready and willing to work uh, who does not have an opportunity uh, to, to uh, have a job. And so we believe in a, a government-sponsored uh, job guarantee, which is exactly what it sounds like. The government would guarantee that uh, anyone who, who cannot find uh, employment in the private sector or the, the regular public sector uh, would be part of a community service employment or public service employment uh, program where they uh, could earn a living and also they um, would be uh, performing useful services which we also uh, believe are uh, in a short supply. Uh, and the program uh, also works as an automatic stabilizer, uh, which keeps the economy at full employment uh, with, instead of workers moving between uh, employment and unemployment, they would only uh, move between uh, private employment uh, and public employment. Always the economy would be at full employment, maintaining enough demand to keep the economy Uh, going and uh, maintain a, a, a prosperous economy. In un paper, lei ha scritto che il programma di job guarantee è compatibile con la sostenibilità ambientale. Può spiegarlo meglio? You wrote in a working paper that the job guarantee program grants environmental sustainability. Uh, could you kindly tell us more about it? Right, so... Uh, Uh, the idea of uh, the uh, job guarantee and environmental sustainability um, is along the lines of what they call now green jobs, uh, which I've been working on for uh, over 15 years uh, before that term even was used. Uh, uh, but people mean uh, different uh, things by the term green jobs. Uh, in, in my proposal, uh, Green Jobs Corps is a public employment uh, core. It would be a subset of the job guarantee program uh, that uh, employs people who are doing all sorts of environmental services from planting trees and uh, cleaning the streams to Uh, assisting in environmental research and environmental education, and I give many, many examples, recycling and so on. Uh, so uh, this way, people are employed and we are uh, creating a healthier environment at the same time. Also, I've coupled the Green Jobs proposal with um, a, a synthesis of what are called uh, ecological tax reform and uh, functional finance. So ecological tax reform is, uh, refers to a combination of environmental taxes, environmental uh, subsidies, uh, depletion quotas for exhaustible resources and so on. Uh, and functional finance is an approach to uh, managing government Uh, budgets uh, and the uh, public debt. Uh, so this would uh, be an approach to ecological tax reform uh, that is uh, within the framework of functional finance rather than sound finance. Uh, and then the job guarantee would 
uh, also be uh, part of that larger uh, program. So I uh, am encouraged that there are some uh, significant possibilities for uh, full employment and environmental sustainability um, being uh, consistent as we move forward. Il programma di job guarantee può aumentare l'inflazione o può invece difenderci dall'inflazione? Could the job guarantee program cause inflation or can it prevent inflation? Actually, if you think about it, 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 it the program uh, couldn't actually become so large as to cause the deficit to become excessive to the point where it would set off inflation. The deficits can be too big. That's not our problem. Our problem is deficits can also be too small. That's what's not well understood. But uh, a deficit uh, can be too large. The great thing about the job guarantee program is the deficit is allowed to expand as long as there are people who are unemployed. As they enter the job guarantee program, the uh, wage and benefits uh, and materials are paid, uh, creating a fiscal deficit. Uh, and as soon as everyone uh, who is unemployed has a job, then the deficit stops growing. And so you just get to full employment and the deficit doesn't get any bigger than that, and that's the only time when it can uh, cause inflation. The other uh, way that it could, you know, in theory, uh, be inflationary is um, when you uh, increase the uh, job guarantee wage. Um, it's not what I would call uh, and what most economists would define as inflation because uh, inflation is actually a uh, unexpected persistent increase in the general price level or the average level of prices and in this case uh, this would be uh, more uh, along the lines of a redefinition of the value of the currency by uh, changing the uh, the job guarantee wage. So it's, it's not actually inflation, but it would change the value of the currency, but it would be uh, expected, not unexpected, and it would not be persistent. It would be a one-time change. So I, I wouldn't call that inflationary. Now, I've written on uh, eight reasons why the a job guarantee uh, program is not inflationary. I'm not going to go through all eight right now, but there are many uh, price stabilizing aspects of the job guarantee uh, program, and I encourage those who are interested uh, to investigate uh, what we've written uh, about it, and and uh, and they will, I think, be convinced that we can have both full employment and price and currency stability. Thank you, Professor Forstater. Thank you.